Hey everyone, Sean Tierney here from theautomationschool.com and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to send data from a Micrologix 1400 across Ethernet to a Slick 505 and we're going to do it by using the message instruction. So here you can see I'm online with my Slick 505 and I have N70 open here and there's no data there. And over here I'm offline with my 1400 program. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a message instruction. And I'm going to give it a message file of, let's see, mg10 colon zero. And let's go to the setup screen here. I'm going to send it out channel one, which is the ethernet port. And then I'm going to do a 500 CPU write. The data table address I'm going to read from is my own N70. We'll do a length of one. And then the data table address I'm going to write to is also going to be N70. That's in the remote PLC. And uh, let's go over here to multi-hop. We'll give that remote PLC an address of 192.168.1.47. That's what my 505 is set to. And uh, now it wants a routing information table. So let's go ahead and give that RI11 colon zero. Okay. So everything's done here. Um, I do want to trigger this because the Micrologix 1400 doesn't have unlimited communications bandwidth. In other words, you cannot issue 100 message commands at the same time and expect them all to go out. It has a buffer. So you get 10 to 15 different messages you can do before that buffer fills up and you start losing messages. Now that buffer limit is dependent on the controller you're using and uh, the port you're messaging out of. But in any case, you cannot send 100 messages at, uh, at the same time and expect them all to get processed. They won't. The buffer will fill up and then anything over the buffer limit will be lost. So in this case, um, while I like to interlock my messages into a round robin when I'm doing a SCADA type system, um, here I'm just going to trigger it based on a timer. I already have the timer in there. So let me go ahead and put an XIC. We've done timer in previous episodes, so I won't go over that again. But uh, here I'm just going to put in T4 colon zero slash done or the done bit of my timer. Oops, get that out of there. Excellent. Okay, we'll verify the project, no problem. So let's go ahead and download this to our 1400. Okay, and in mere moments, we'll change it back to run. We'll go online and let's see what's in N7. Well, it's supposed to be writing. Let me zoom in on this. Okay, there's a 12345 in here. And look, that also showed up in the Slick 500. Let's go ahead and change that to 32767. And in mere moments, you see it over here in the Slick 505. So because I'm triggering that message every two seconds, it takes about two seconds for it to show up over there. You know, of course, I could do it faster. Let's uh, change it to half a second here. And now we'll bring up N7 again, and I'll change it to 11111. And you can see, much faster. I can see it much faster. And that's it for this episode. Now, if you found that helpful, please give me a like and a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about what I did today, feel free to ask me over at theautomationforums.com. And if you know anybody who'd like to get started using PLCs, tell them to check out my PLC Basics course over at theautomationschool.com. And until next time, peace.